Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Kitty Assaultus, with another tutorial video. And today, I'm going to be showing, showing you how to get Quake 3 running in Linux. And so without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So like with, um, so like with, with, um, so like with, Unreal Tournament 1999, we're going to, I've got to first start up Steam, I'll start that up, and then we'll be, to, and then we'll continue it. And so now that Steam is open, let's go, I'm going to navigate to where I have Quake 3 listed under, because you can actually customize, because you can customize, uh, create lists. Where your games I'm gonna do this do that and so under my id which is a very useful thing if you got like games when we're, we're going to oh wait we can't install it now the first thing that you're going to want to do is have tools that's very that is very important have that tools check mark checked and then you navigate to where you see proton so you, you can already see that i have the latest the latest proton package installed on here i have proton next as well so we're going to go, going to go to Quake Free Arena. We're going to go to compatibility for specific Steam Play. Ah, oh, Boxtron, DOSBox, native DOSBox, cool. So you can actually do that with a game. If, it, if it's like, but we'll do it. But we'll do proton. But we're gonna do proton for Quake Three, and we're going to do the same thing with Team Arena. For yeah, just to make sure that we have Team Arena in here as well. So now we can install both of them. So install. So install and this is actually going to be quite nice because we will be able to play Quake 3 Arena on Steam utilizing not 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 on Steam also so we can actually load the Windows binaries through Proton but that's not what we're going to going to do we're going to actually run a source port called a quake quake 3e which has a vulcan render so as well as a uh, as well as a standard open geo renderer so what we're going to do is we're going to install this one anyway make sure it's on here yeah i don't really know anyone who plays uh who who actually plays uh Team Arena, but it's a good thing to make sure it's installed on here. And so, this will give us um, some some support for for Quake Three. And there we go. So the first thing we're going to want to do is load the game. I'm going to uh, edit that one out.
And so any kind of pop-up you So now we should have So now we should have that. So just load the games. And it'll automatically um And so you just any kind of pop up that comes up, you um like that. Well, yeah. So now that our keys have been uh, inserted into the game, now we're going to copy. We're going to copy everything to our new folder. We're going to go to games. Call this one Q. 3A to Quake 3 Arena paste and we're going, going to delete executable these executables because these executables are going going to be unnecessary for running the game because we are going to have better executables so what we're going to do is we're going to open this folder up and you can see we've got a Vulcan renderer. As they say, live long and prosper. I just had to make that joke. And so let's copy the binaries in here. So let, let's, let's say before I do anything, I'm going to download a skin for the game. So I'll be right back. So now we should, uh, now we can load the game. I'm going to load it on the Vulcan renderer. There we go. So now we got the Vulcan renderer. So let's go into our setup. We can do voodoo, but eh, it's kind of interesting. So we just set the texture quality is super high. Let's try a multiplayer server. But we can try a couple of servers. There's always a server with bots in it. So I will have to edit <coughs> out some stuff.
and it'll be nice because I won't be at the mercy of the Windows firewall. <laughs> Nowadays. <laughs> now that I'm using like Linux and Windows dual boot configuration. Yeah. And if we want, wanted to use like um if we really wanted to use Windows, we could actually do it in a virtual machine without needing to do dual boot. Just run it in a self-contained environment. That's basically what some ordinary gamers does. But I kind of prefer a, a, a native running Windows installation merely because um, some things are just they're, they're a little wonky with that with running in a virtual machine maybe I'll do the virtual machine stuff to test it out to test that latest build of Windows 11 out just to find out what the heck the problem is with that why it's crashing why it may or may not be working see if it does it in the virtual machine So we should be able to So now we're going to go to Oh wow QT4 Blitz. Let's try this one. One minute warning. That's right, man.
think that's about all of Quake 3. That, that's a fun game to play. I would highly recommend people... I might have to do more of a bot match just to get good at the game. And until next time, peace out everyone.